I want to thank you for all of your help. I know we didn't give you much time to prepare, what with our moving the wedding date up, but I think you are doing a wonderful job with the wedding plans. My family and I are very happy, and I know my fiancé here is very pleased. Thank you so much for coming to see us at the end of your day to go over details. <sighs> yes, this home is rather stately, isn't it? Well, we are both confident in your work and are quite reassured that our special day will be perfect. Good night. It will be a lovely wedding, won't it, darling? You are pleased with all of the plans. You were rather quiet tonight, but I assumed you were happy with everything. I do want you to tell me, dearest, if anything is troubling you. You do look troubled, my love. Talk to me. Tell me what is making your handsome face so concerned, so worried. I hate to see you fret like this. Oh my, your shoulders feel so tense. Come and sit down in your study, and I'll give you a massage. Come with me, darling. Now sit down in your chair and let me help you relax. There. Does that feel better, my love? Hmm? Good. Now tell your Dr. Jekyll just what is bothering you, my dearest. What has you so worried? I see. I should have known that I couldn't hide anything from you. You've always been so perceptive, as if you can see straight into my heart. Did you always suspect that I loved you? <sighs> of course you did. <sighs> well, I tried my best to appear pleasant and relaxed throughout our planning session this evening, but you are right. I am terribly worried about the future. Since you and I became engaged, Lola Hyde has been emerging more and more frequently without the aid of the serum, which I've still not been able to reproduce in the lab downstairs. On the one hand, it seems that my now daily, or rather nightly, transformations have helped to lessen the withdrawal symptoms and the nagging craving I feel for the serum. At least I can think straight most of the time, which is a relief. Apparently, letting Lola out so often seems to pacify my system. However, along with her more frequent appearances, I believe Lola has been maintaining dominance over my body for longer and longer periods of time. Would you agree with that assessment? That's what I thought. It was especially noticeable when I didn't awake this morning, but rather later this afternoon. Which was why we had to push the wedding planner so late. Was Lola with you all night and half the day? I'm not accusing you of anything, darling. I simply want the facts so I may calculate how long I have before... before I fade away from existence altogether. I'm hoping to be able to see our wedding day, even if Lola won't allow me to consummate our union. I am also concerned that she may be harming you. Lately, you seem completely exhausted, and the muscles in your shoulders are tied in knots. I'm having to be extremely gentle so not to hurt you. Here, why don't you take your jacket off?
There. Much better. Darling. It's all right if you enjoy being with Lola Hyde. In a way, I created her so that we could be together. It just didn't work out quite as I had hoped. And before I lose myself completely to her, I need to make sure she is being good to you. I want her to treat you well. Because I love you. I treasure these moments we have together. Will I retain my original nature, which I fear will become more and more fleeting? Lola Hyde is growing dominant. Especially at night, when you and I are together. Like now, I feel her intense desire burning inside me like a raging inferno. Like the fire that destroyed my old home. Taking everything that was me with it. I thought I had escaped her. But I didn't realize that you would become my new serum. You would trigger and empower Lola again. Or rather, my feelings for you. My love and desire. Touching you like this, it draws Lola out. And when our bare skin touches, like my lips on the back of your neck, it makes a metamorphosis inevitable. I think perhaps a shirtless massage might be what you need. Here, stand up and let me help you take this off. Lola can be so destructive on your clothes, and I might not be around much longer to sew them up for you, so let's get you ready for her. There. Now I have my bare hands on your bare skin. Doesn't it feel... sumptuous? <laughs> you know, in the last few nights, I've been able to undress before bed. Before Lola took over, saving my own clothes from her wrath. Tonight, I think I'll stay to hell with it. I really don't know how much longer I'll even need clothing in my thighs. Mm. Besides, I know it pisses her off. Mm. Enjoy yourself tonight, my darling. You can love Lil Hyde. She is a dark, passionate extension of me. Without a single inhibition. Mm. Mm. One thing I beg of you. Mm. All I want is to be able to attend my own wedding. Can you make a deal with her? Tell her to let me stay for that. She can have you. I just want... I just want your hands on me. Hold me as tightly as you can. Feel me growing. Changing into... Oh. Oh. Perfection herself, Lola Hyde. Oh. oh, hello, my most lucky man. Am I a bit more of a handful than your little fiancé? <laughs> Have you missed me? Or are you still recovering from last night? And this morning? A little sore, perhaps. Hmm. <laughs> you should have seen the look on your face when you first woke up and saw me looking down at you. I wish I had seen my face. 
I'm sure it was beautifully victorious. For every hour that I spend lording over you, my delicious conquest, the closer I get to total acquisition, overall possession, complete domination. <laughs> Well, aren't you at least glad to see me? I can feel that you are happy, even if the blood hasn't reached your head yet. Isn't it a pain dealing with that tedious woman? Every ridiculous detail of her stupid wedding drawn out ad infinitum. Until you just want to run away screaming? I'm not sure how you can stand it. You must have better endurance than I thought. Do you wish I was her right now? Do you ever think of Angela Jekyll when you're with me? When you are fucking me? <laughs> I knew that wasn't possible. The way you stare into my eyes, I feed off that attention. It gives me power. I know that I'm the only woman you could ever be with from now on. The best thing about Angela Jekyll is that she made me for you. And that's saying a lot. Because no one's ever had it better. So, <sighs> we should raise a glass to the good doctor. Her time is almost up. She is well aware that when mutations occur in nature, only the strongest survive. And when it comes to battle for this body, the strongest <clears throat> is obviously me. Oh, I hope you didn't want to keep that marble statuette. I always thought it was a bit ostentatious. You have the real thing now. <laughs> Look, let's get this out of the way right now. Dr. Jekyll can have her perfect wedding. I thought I made that clear. We'll consider it a going away present. A little bon voyage, if you will. But then you are mine. She can officially be your wife. That's what she wanted. But you will be my husband. Your training begins now. I want you hard at work pleasing me for as long as I am present, tonight and into tomorrow. And the next day, if I do go that long. You will be an attentive, energetic lover, and you will be only too happy to do it. Am I understood? Good. <sighs> hmm. Good. I promise that I will reward your devotion and all of your hard work. Perhaps one day you will see that my spirit is beautiful too. Once Angela is gone, you'll finally realize just how truly beautiful I am. On the inside, as well as the out. Hold me. I'm sorry if I'm so mean and strict with you all the time. I just want you to know how best to please me. You want to please your Lola, don't you? A goddess has needs, you understand? It doesn't mean the goddess doesn't adore her mortal man. But you must rise to the challenge of being a goddess's lover. I know you can do it. I believe in you. As you believe in me. Now, 
I want you to pleasure me in every room of your big old mansion tonight. Hmm? Unless... Did my new clothes arrive? Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Let us first adjourn to my bedroom and you may dress me and admire me in a private fashion show before we get down to your hard, hard work of worshipping your goddess. <laughs> Come on, let's go, you lucky man. <laughs> Angela is such a little troll, leaving her tiny dress on when she knew I was coming, just to annoy me. The thing is, I don't mind bursting out of her ridiculously drab clothes anymore. I like punishing them. For being so stupid and small. Besides... I love that look in your eyes when my sensational body rips apart another pathetic dress due to my superior height and my firm, gorgeous curves. I know you particularly like it when these luscious breasts force their way out, popping buttons, tearing through another blouse, offering themselves to you. <laughs> Angela has made herself into a literal Bodice ripper. <laughs> it's too bad that once Angela's gone for good, I won't be able to transform before you like that anymore. We'll miss that particular thrill, won't we? Hmm, I wonder. I wonder if there's something we can do to replace that exciting moment. Perhaps... Perhaps we'll keep that in mind as we tour my new wardrobe, hmm? You'll dress me now, doing all of my snaps and hooks and buttons, tie my ribbons, lace up my strings, adjust my straps. And when you're finished, together we will evaluate your purchase and how it suits me. And if the dress is not perfect... I will shred the thing to tatters and have my way with you. And then we'll repeat with the next one. And so on and so on. And so on. I don't know about you, but I'm not sure if any of them will survive the night. Hmm? <laughs> hmm.